वेलकम टू लर्न टू बिल्ड एंड बिल्ड टू लर्न ए डब्ल्यू एस आई ओ टी सीरीज इन द लास्ट भिडियो उव एक्सप्लोर दिस नेटवर्क मड्यूल एंड उर एबल टू कनेक्ट टू होम वाई फाई नेटवर्क यूजिंग फ्यू लाइन्स अफ कोड बाट आल्टिमेटली उव यूज दिस माइक्रोपाइथन वाई फाई मैनेजर एक्सटार्नल लाइब्रेरी फ्रम गिट हब एंड उ फाउंड दिस रेफरेंस इन असम माइक्रोपाइथन वेबसाइट वेन दस पी थर्टी टू मड्यूल बुट्स अप इट ट्राई टू कनेक्ट टू आवर होम वाई फाई नेटवर्क एंड इट गिवस अस back the ipv4 address allocated to this esp32 module in this video we will explore web ripple feature which will allow you to access this ripple using web browser over web sockets and this is very very convenient you don't have to connect your esp32 module directly to your computer all the time you can keep your esp32 module anywhere in your house within wifi range you can do it in two ways you can download the web client from github repo once downloaded open this web repo html file using browser just keep in mind recent versions of firefox and chrome are supported in case if you do not want to download this there is other option which is hosted solution for that you need to open http micropython arch web repo and there you may find this error message this web repl client cannot be accessed over http connections the reason is that most of the modern browser nowadays redirect http traffic to https for security reason in case that is enabled in your browser you can disable it from the settings in your browser for example i have disabled that in firefox browser and it is opening correctly though it is showing it's a not a secure website but we are good because what we are going to do we know that just keep in mind though it is hosted solution but all the traffic between this browser and esp32 will be over wifi network so we have to provide ipv4 local ip address of esp32 before that we need to enable this in esp32 let's go back to thony id when we flashed our esp32 module using micropython firmware we had only one file that is boot.py and all these lines of code was there but these are commented so last two lines which is to enable web repl using script so we can try that one so let's try import web repl web repl dot start message says web repl is not configured run import web repl setup so we'll run this but before that let me fix this one by passing password execute now web repl server started on this ip and 8266 port and we'll try this using web repl browser client before that let me show you this approach import web repl setup So right now web repl daemon auto start status is disabled so you can enable it to enable type e then it will give you option to set password confirm password and change will be activated after reboot so our web repl server is already starting so let's keep this one i just ran it just to show you what happens when we use web repl setup copy the address and open it in browser click connect and it will ask for the password and we are connected the message web repl connection from 10.10.0.158 which is which is ipv4 address of my laptop so using web repl you have access to your esp32 module using browser over home wifi network and you can write your code in this cell and also you have option to upload file so you can browse your local file and upload that code to esp32 module also you can provide the path of the file and you can get from that esp32 device for example we have main.py so main.py get from device fetch that main.py which is 96 byte and it is downloaded in your local computer this feature is very handy because you don't have to connect to esp32 module directly to your computer let's disconnect and let me show you one more interesting thing if you go to thony click run configure interpreter so you have option to 
connect to USB 32 from Thony ID using Web Ripple, which is very nice feature. So let's try to connect using Web Ripple. Click Web Ripple, and we know our address is 84. Password is password. Click OK. Web Ripple is connected. And here in the right bottom corner, you will see that we connected to USB 32 over home Wi-Fi network using WebSocket. And you can continue working with Thony IDE as if that is connected using USB. I'm sure you will like it. One thing I forgot to mention that when we ran that import WebRipple underscore setup, that line to set up our WebRipple, uh, it created one file called webripple underscore cfg.py and this file contains the password in plain text format i'm sharing so that you can keep this in mind from security aspect that's all for this video in the next video we'll explore the machine module specifically gpio pins which we are going to use in our projects thanks for watching see you in the next one